one, and we're good. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to do an intro. I really don't care. All right. So you all have been um, called by the Dungeon Delvers Guild, and you all have heard that recently a giant worm was dealt with in some of the nearby woods. Um, and since then, things have started to calm down, but the animals haven't returned to normal yet. Um, they all seem very... St- they still seem disturbed. And then you heard they all just kind of left. And nobody's seen anything. There hasn't been a deer. There hasn't been a wolf, a squirrel, a rabbit. There's been nothing. Like, e- even the owl bears have left. Nobody knows where they've gone. Uh, but they know there's been a disturbance up... Um, n- North northwest, so over in this area, and that is where you will be heading. Um, but if you guys would like to do some quick character introductions before we do get started, go ahead because I just realized we never did those. <laughs> uh, we'll just go down the list on Discord because I actually think that is no, it's not, but close enough. We're doing down the list on Discord. <laughs> Well, my name is Hassini. I am a uh, Erganassi. I am now a warlock now that I found the artifact that I had been searching for, and I released a, a genie, and he gave me powers, and now I am out to adventure the world and put those powers to good use as best as I can. Awesome. Uh, next, we have D- uh, Mackenzie's character. Hello, my name is Calypso. I am also a warlock, and she kind of like looks over at the other warlock, like, sup? Um, I am an Asmir. <laughs> I am an Asmir, um, fallen, if you need to know. Uh, and uh, my, my patron is known as uh, the Demon Prince. Um, yeah, just. Living life, having fun, causing trouble. It's all the good stuff. Awesome. Next we have uh, Dieter's character. Yeah, hi. I'm Rivier Gewitter. Also a, well, I mean, water genasi, but comparable, I guess. I am a paladin in my own right. Drawing from my own strength. I don't need any DD to support me. And it looks like I'll be holding the front of this group. All right. Uh, and next we have um, Taco's character. Hello. My name is Rock. Uh, apparently, I'm the only one here who doesn't actively follow some higher power or yourself or whatever you call it um oh i'm sorry did did someone say something no all right all right then um so you all have um been asked to start heading up so yeah we have plenty (laughs) of time so if you guys do want to do any role playing right now just getting to know each other's characters you may um, if nobody wishes to, we will just start moving. I think Cassini, if um, Calypso states that she's a warlock and she's serving a demon prince, is that actually what she did? Yeah, she doesn't care. So she would, she would just kind of like raise her eyebrows curiously and be like, "Why would you make a pact with a demon?" Well, uh. Long story short, when you want to piss off the right person, you talk to the right person. Is he at least cute? Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm she shrugs. I, I'm I'm picky, but not that picky, but picky in my own right. And I wouldn't make I wouldn't strike a deal with somebody who wasn't at least good looking. Rock's gonna look me? at Ravier and whisper, I'm not very comfortable with this conversation. Well, suck it up or leave. 
Oh, shit. Oh, great. It's like I'm talking to Tabitha all over again. Who the hell is Tabitha? Ah. Uh, he gives a kind of surmise and says, the smartest person in the guild. Oh. Followed by yeah, an eye roll. I know her. Well, is your day like any a good real looking? charmer. At least. Yes, he's, um, there's gin, genie blood in my family, so I'm partial to, you know, the blue skin and the, yes, he is. Oh, all you, right. you mean like him? Rybeer will call across, <laughs> like, green, green skin is better. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, Does Rybeer have green skin down. or blue skin? Repeat that, Adrian. I'm sorry. I don't think we heard you. Oh, does uh, Rivier have blue screen skin or green skin? Actually, wait. Hold on. He has Maldives blue skin and deep blue floaty hair, as if it were in water. Fancy. Calypso. She eyeballed you from the <laughs> back. Point to point to him and be like, like that. He's not bad. But your Charisma patron's better looking 15. than him, right? Uh, well, I mean, he's a genie, so I guess like the top half, but he kind of just is cloud on the bottom. Huh. I think um, Rivier is, is quite good looking. Got right. all that 15 of him. Oh. Thanks. If you're all done having your conversation, don't we have a job to go do? Or are Aww. we just going to stand here and talk about weird things? Aw, big guy, are you that not getting enough attention? That like a wonderful idea. I don't need attention, thank you. Are you sure? Oh, God in heaven. I'm gonna, <laughs> well, like... Well, leave him alone. He'll warm up once he gets a girlfriend. Uh, he's gonna go and just start pilfering through his spell book. <laughs> I... <laughs> And with that, um, <laughs> we'll start going. Uh, so you all um, start walking towards the forest, and you get onto this pathway. Um, and you all can start walking, but I would like it, and this is for no reason, no reason whatsoever. Please go ahead and roll me initiative real quick. Initiative. The first where roll of the game is I? initiative. It's terrifying. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry. Answer. It's nothing. Oh, DM, I rolled a six. So Can you put me on the initiative order? I forgot to click on my token. Seeing as I am the fastest person in the guild. Oh, yeah. yes. But Very don't much worry. so. It's... But don't worry. It is for no apparent reason. Uh, Revier and Calypso, what are your dex mods? <laughs> Minus one. Uh, plus 15. <laughs> All right, so it's mine as well. Got it. Calypso, what's yours? Uh, plus three. Plus three? So Calypso will go first. Of course I will. Ladies first. Goodness. I was being polite. Fine, mm. Revier goes first. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fine, you know what? <laughs> be really strange with politeness um, and people getting stabbed. It's odd. Uh, so you can move your movement speed throughout the woods here. You can talk. Uh, your care, uh, or if you would like, you may take your bonus action and roll me, uh, perception. I will roll perception. I forgot this okay. character is not good with perception, so here we go. That's not, that's average, I'll take it. Hey, nothing's wrong. Nothing's wrong, cool. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Okay. You don't need to worry 10, about it. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. It's a beautiful okay. day. And she'll like stretch her arms up in the air and kind of yawn a little bit and lean back and look up. Is it sunny out? Or uh, is it dark? Yeah. It's nice and sunny, actually. It's mm -hmm. a beautiful day. There's a little bit of cloud cover, but it almost looks like a painting in the sky. It's beautiful out. Wow, that's gorgeous. Um, okay. I'm going to turn around. And uh, kind of wiggle a finger at Rock and cast friends. Okay. Oh, no! 
Uh, for the duration, you advantage on Chris. Does he have to roll anything? Uh, uh no. No. Mm -hmm. It's just You're gives just... me advantage on charisma checks against him. And he is not you're hostile a monster. towards me. He's not hostile oh, towards me. Oh, you're a me. monster. I know, but Rock's so awkward. Like, okay. Hey, Rock, That's buddy. Fine. Come walk with me. Come here. And she'll kind of like try to flag him forward. And if you'd like, I will roll a persuasion check against you. Oh, no. I would like you to roll that persuasion because Rock normally wouldn't do this. So go ahead. Come here, Rock. Come, come walk with me. Oh my god, can I roll insight? Yes, you can roll insight against it. You're gonna need a good roll here, though. Is insight, uh, into Ooh. Well, no, it's wisdom, because I have none. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, Rock, no. On your turn, you're gonna be walking with Calypso. Uh, with that, uh, it is Revier's turn. So clearly going to the other side of this bush tree. <laughs> Ouch. Um, would you, would you I like guess to... I guess he'll he whoa. Okay, nice. Um you notice just like the villagers have said, there's no animals here. In fact, with an eighteen it doesn't look like there's been any real animal activity for a while. There's um, there's actually some berries on that, and that's supposed to be like a bush. Uh, there's some berries on there, um, and you're a water genasi, correct? Yeah. Okay, you would not... Uh, roll me a survival real quick. Let's see if you know oh, what these are. Boy. Ah. Yeah, no. Uh, but you do see these berries... Um, and you guess maybe animals usually would eat them? You're guessing. Um, and it just seems kind of weird that that bush is... It, it, like, it's chock full of berries. So, yeah. Um, you also see uh, over here, there is a little rabbit hole. That, uh, so this is a rabbit hole. We're... It's definitely what it is. It's not, and that's pink, and it didn't look that way when I clicked on that. So, <laughs> there we go. A pink now, rabbit hole. There we go. Now it's a rabbit hole. <clears throat> There's a little, bit, little rabbit hole up there. Oh, uh, delightful. Yeah. Is there anything else you would like to do on your turn? Are you allowing us to quote unquote dash? Yes, you may dash. Well, well. Mm, yes, quite. Mm, yes, the okay. hole of a rabbit. <laughs> are you are you looking in the rabbit hole? I am. However, I also did perception already. Yes. So next turn, we will have you look into the rabbit hole. Uh, next is rock. <sighs> so I have to go walk with Calypso? Yeah. Great. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Uh, Rock will very, will tuck his spell book under one, well, actually, like, hold the spell book in one, in one hand, so reading it, but just kind of, like, extend his other arm to kind of interlock with Calypso. Oh, such a gentleman. He's going to mumble, mm-hmm, and keep reading. She will take his arm. Okay. Uh, Rock, you're just reading? I, I will look up to do a perception check around the area because even though Rock is being friendly with Calypso, he is so kind of nervous about the area. Area He just finished prepping the spells, so he's just looking around the area. Can I roll perception? Yes, you may. It's this sunny. A, it's a bush. It's sunny out. It's all you all see. Right. Yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> next is Hassini. So Hassini is, is kind of just bouncing along behind Rock and Calypso. She's very, very light on her feet being an Aragonese. And she only weighs like 75 or 85 pounds. So she's 
five foot tall, very, very lithe, and just kind of uh, not really specifically paying attention to anything as she's following along behind them. Um, when she sees, uh, right, oh, it's Rivier, right? Yes, think. it is Rivier. So if, uh, if he's going over there, would I see the rabbit hole as well? Uh, or do I have to roll perception for it? Roll me perception, but the DC will be a little bit lower to see it. Oops, I'm on the wrong section. There we go. So I presume I don't see it. So I'll no, just... You... Would I? No, uh, you do not, unfortunately. It was low, but it wasn't that yeah. low. <laughs> So yeah, so he's gonna, she's just gonna follow after him and just be like, "What are you looking at? There's no animals around here. Do you notice that?" And all that's right. all. All right, wonderful. Uh, next we're back to Calypso. Um, can I roll another perception check to see if I notice? Uh, since we've got a rabbit hole here, can I see if there's anything kind of weird over here? Yes, you may. If you, if you want, Rock can assist you if you ask. <laughs> She's gonna, uh, sh uh, the arm that she's interlocked her arm with. She's gonna give uh, give his arm like a pat, and be like, "Hey, hey, Rock, look over there." <laughs> and point hmm? pointed a different direction. Can I roll with advantage? Yes, you may roll with advantage for that. Twelve. <laughs> that sounds about right. Same roll as last time. <laughs> um, but because you are looking in a general direction now, uh, you will see there is another rabbit hole here. Um, and you can get up to, you can definitely get up to it with your movement. Um, can I pull rock invest... with me? <laughs> you can try and pull him. Um, I will say rock has a whopping strength of 10, so it wouldn't be very hard. Uh, well, I she's mean, got can... an eight, so. Oh, you great. Try. Hey, hey rock, hey rock. I want to, I want to go, I want to go over there. Let's go. Let's go over there. I see a thing. Let's go see what the thing is. And she'll like frantically if, point over there, and then I will hold my movement to move with Rock over there. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm guessing that's your turn. That is the end. So of next turn. is Ravier. I have never before been curious what is inside of a rabbit hole, but I think I'm curious now. Uh, and I will. We'll Investigation into there. Oh god. Peeksy. Investigation. Oh my god. Jesus. Wow. Good job. Uh, there's no animal in there, but you do. That's expected. Yeah, that's expected. But you do notice something's been in there. You don't know what, but something definitely went in there, and you see. A gold coin. Just a single. There's a single gold coin in there. Do you pick it up? That seems wonderful. Is there anything around the gold coin lurking in the shadows? There's dirt. I grabbed the gold coin. Okay. You have. You get gain one gold. There you go. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Now we have to mark this as PG-13 because he said the F word. <laughs> no one can say it again. No one can say it. That again. was the only time. That was it. Wait, what? Are, what are we not supposed to say? Are we not supposed to say fuck? Yep. Ah, oh, well, uh, now it's can't be PG thirteen anymore. I'm sorry, yeah, I had to do it. This is now rated. <laughs> Two of them. This is now rated R. <laughs> rated R. Mm. Rated wow. forty one and older. Forty one and older. Sorry. <laughs> Continue. It's fine. Do we? No, we didn't. I thought we lost somebody for a second. Uh, next we have Rook. Rock will nod his head and walk hand in hand with Calypso. Yay. Okay. Doop. 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 And right. it, since it is my turn, I guess I'll examine the rabbit hole. Okay. Uh, and because Calypso is there, uh, you may roll with advantage. Fantastic. <laughs> so 
So that's a 19. Uh, there's a gold coin in that one, too. Do I look there's... around to see anything beside the gold coin? There's dirt. Rock will reach in the hole and just like with two claw with like uh, his pointer and thumb claw just kind of like like pull out the gold coin and look at it. Like look in the hole again. Nothing else in there. It was just mm. a gold coin. He'll flip the coin in his hand and just like uh, place it in his pocket. Okay. Add one gold coin. Okay. I don't know why you guys are so on edge. It's just a hole in the ground with the gold coin in it. It looks like it. I didn't know ground makes money, but you learn something new every day. Well, actually, Cliff, so the ground cannot actually make money. You see, this gold coin that I just put in my pocket has been meticulously <sighs> made in a facility. Why did I why did I pick you? <laughs> Pardon? Nothing. Can I roll inside with advantage? Yes, you can. <laughs> you, you you can advantage and the DC is very low. It's not that low. <laughs> she didn't say shit. <laughs> Good job, Rock. Good job. True to character. Rock will <laughs> Rock will like turn his head to the side and go. You know, I thought I acted strange. And then you opened your mouth, but I don't think it's a bad thing. It's just a new thing. All right. Next is Hassini. So I'm going to catch up to Rivier, and I'm going to look down, and I since I'm he's bending down and reached in to grab it, I would presume I see the rabbit hole. Yes. Wait, did you find gold in there? Yes. Uh, he is not by you, Rock. I'm sorry. Sorry, I wasn't looking. Yeah, sure. Right here, did yeah, you find I gold? Think... Do you think there's more? I really don't think there's more, honestly. Oh, I want to drop to my uh, my all fours and look down into the hole as close as I can to see if I find any. Oh, okay. I'm not even going to make you roll. There's no more gold in there. There's got to be more gold down here. It's a, it's a secret treasure trove. And then she pulls out from her kind of satchel. Uh, a little oil lamp and she rubs it and casts um gust of wind down the rabbit hole to try to see if she can blow uh, anything that's inside down through the rabbit hole and up to another entrance kind of like a blower nice. this is embarrassing I love it. roll me perception real quick actually roll. everybody can roll me perception perception Reception. Right here just flat out says, this is embarrassing. Oh jeez, Calypso ain't just seeing shit. I don't notice shit. Uh, Alright. Um, everybody... Does Rock <laughs> notice? Everyone aside from Calypso. <laughs> there's another rabbit hole here. There's another rabbit hole here. And there's one more here. And magically... Boop! Boop! And boop. Three gold coins just popped out. One from each. She um, squeals in happiness, and if she has any more movement, she wants to run towards one. Uh, yeah, you can go towards one of them. All right. Uh, definitely get there. You grab the coin, and you add one more gold coin to your, po to your pockets. All right. Uh, that uh, unfortunately, that is everything you can do on your turn. Yep. Um. So next, we're gonna go to Calypso. Uh. God, she doesn't see the, the spurt of money and stuff. Um. Actually, she's going to turn her. She's gonna like, go around Rock like, excuse me, and like switch arms and force him to to like deal with the fact that she's now on his arm that is holding the book and uh i would like to <clears throat> i would like to to look at the tree a little more roll me perception or investigation okay um i, I will do investigation i won't do investigation <laughs> no, you can you roll won't. 
You can roll the advantage if you just ask Brock. He's right there. Uh, Brock, how much do you know about nature? Uh, is that to say that I'm supposed to do a nature check, DM? How much? No, that's that's a legit question. How much do you know about nature? I a little bit. I don't go outside much if I can help it. Oh. <laughs> well, that's it. That's a I, pre I prefer places dark and cold where I can study in peace. Hmm. I prefer places hot and sunny, but you know, opposites do attract. Anyway, does that tree look funny to you? Uh, with that, you may roll with advantage. Okay. Fucking fine. Hey. <laughs> well, it is a tree. <laughs> And that's all it is. It's a tree. Um, can I see the berries on the tree? Oh yeah, you, know, you see the berries. Sorry, I forgot about those. Yes, you see. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> glad. The that... Tons of the berries DM on the bush tree. tree. Yeah. All the berries. You see the berries. Great. I want to yeah, send. I want to send Mage Hand over to grab one of the berries and bring it back to me. Okay. Roll me a survival or nature track check. Sure. Track check. That's that's the right word. If I can abuse the help action again, can I ask Rock to look you at these not. berries with me? Ah, uh, okay. Oh, I'm gonna do a uh, survival then. Haha. -ha. Um, you you know these as a um kind of a D and D equivalent of a blackberry. Hmm. <laughs> they're com they're completely edible to all species. Cool. I'm gonna pop um, it in my mouth. Only... Okay. <laughs> the only thing that would probably not like these would be something demonic. Hmm. Just because I don't imagine they would eat normal foods. I could be wrong. I don't know. This is they like flesh berries instead. Flesh yes, berries. they like they like flesh berries. <laughs> <laughs> no, they like they like soul berries. Uh, I pop it in my mouth. Does it taste good? Yeah, it ta it tastes like a blackberry. Oh, it's got a nice little bit of sweetness, little and like a really little hint of tartness. These might not be the most ready, but they're pretty good. Mm, yum. Uh, and if you would actually like, you can take um, your bonus action. I don't think I think you already used it this turn though, but next turn you may take a bonus action and you can round up easily a quart, or maybe or if you take your action and bonus action, two quarts of blackberries. Okay. Yeah. That's the end of my turn. Um. Okay. With that, it's back to Ravier. <sighs> Come on, guys. Still got a job to do. Mm -hmm. Not here. Are you, are you gonna grab the coin on your way? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna grab the coin. <laughs> a crestfallen look covers uh, Hasini's face as you do so. Twenty-five, <laughs> thirty. All right. <laughs> yeah, no, you you just you legit just found another coin. It's fine. Uh... Is that going to be all you're doing? Uh, yeah. I mean, I could try to like look ahead. You can look ahead. Uh, that's just yeah. perception. Plus one. Oh, God. Up ahead, you see a nice, calm, flowing river with a bridge. Uh, and we'll get to there in a minute. Uh, yeah. With that, we're back to rock. So, should we just head toward Ravier, or...? Oh, sorry, I wasn't aware you were actually, like, engaging in conversation. Uh, why don't you head over with the Ravier, and I will catch up in a bit, because I think I'm going to collect some berries. All right, catch up with the Ravier. Got it. <clears throat> I will dash for my turn to Ravier. Okay. <laughs> 10, um, 15, 20. Yeah. Which which way are you going? Are you going to go like here then there? Yeah. Okay. So I'll I'm guessing you are you guessing you're grabbing that coin? Um Rock is a very paranoid person. Doesn't get why there's coins popping up all over the place. I don't think I will. Okay. You pass up the coin. You can, 
Uh, I think that was 60 feet away. Five. Yeah. So you can get uh, one up I will. I will shout out to Calypso. Uh, Calypso! Mm -hmm. Coin. Point to the rabbit hole. And dash to Ravier. Okay. You can go to Ravier. I'll end my turn there. Okay. Next is Hassini. Hassini dives for this coin. <laughs> ready for that one so i All will right. pocket another one and then she kind of stands up and looks over innocently at uh, calypso and flashes the two coins in between two three of her fingers i guess just look what i found <sighs> calypso takes a deep <laughs> breath like she's gonna yell at you and then she's going to like bow her head a little bit and be like well done <laughs> <laughs> She, like, flicks the coins up in the air and pulls out her coin purse and lets them just fall into the purse directly. And then, um, looking around, I don't think I see anything else, so I'm just going to kind of skip after them. Which I guess, okay. I don't know, halfway or something like that. You can, if you want to take a dash, you can get all the way up to them. Okay, so I'll do so. Okay. Uh, next is Calypso. Great. I would like to, to come over here. And mm -hmm. uh, use my full action to collect two quarts of blackberries. Uh, add two quarts of blackberries to your inventory. Okay. And then um, five. This 10, is the real loot. 15, 20, 25, <laughs> 30. So I can get pretty much to the to the group. If you will grant me one extra step, it would put us all together. Yeah. Um, and we'll actually say, because I'll pull back the curtain a little bit and say, up in this area, there's just a little bit of a few rocks here, some leaves, but up ahead's the clearing. Uh, and I'm just going to move you guys to the next map if that's fine by What's everyone. That? Okay. Hiya. So, yeah. You guys are here. Uh, you see. <coughs> you guys see uh, there are some rocks in the river, uh, but there there's a nice little bridge. Um. If you would like to reroll your initiative, you may. Uh, by all means, you do not have to. Our people with 18s, you may keep those. Um, but our people, but uh, Ruck and Asini, you can reroll it if you'd like, because that you got very low rolls. I'll stay with my 18. Thank you. Okay. Well, I won't pass that up. <laughs> Holy crap! Jeez. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we have a new initiative order now. <laughs> Um, and a scene he climbed to the top very, very quickly. Um, so now, um, yeah. Uh, but I will say this initiative order does, you don't have to use this. Uh, or you don't, that's not right. You don't have to use your movement on this page. Um, okay, so we're not in like uh, tracking everything type thing? Yes, this is more just like imagine 30 feet about yay long. Give okay. or take. So that's about that's about thirty feet for you guys. Um, so yeah, just go a little ways up and then just keep going. Uh, and feel free to talk as much as you like. And you can same as last time. You can roll perception checks. Did Calypso and Rivier also roll another eighteen each? No, you said we could keep our uh, no, 18s, so we I just, just added put them. it in. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because you didn't add us to the turn order, so we were just rolling initiative and then changing the numbers. Yeah. Oh, did it oh, not? Okay. You... Well, you got. No, oh, it was there, and then you got rid of it. Yeah, you deleted them. Oh, did I get? Dang it! Dang! Look at that. Oh, there, okay. there were. Oh, there was stop. one for each of you, and go. I did an oops. I'm sorry. <laughs> so I, I have to remember it's not the same on every page. I'm sorry. When we start getting up into this section, we can, how fast is like the river flowing, and how deep does it look, and stuff like that? Um, once you get up there, you can get a better sense of it. Uh, if you like to pull perception, you can see if you can tell. I guess if I'm uh, 22 on the initiative, then I would get to go first, so she's going to start running ahead. Uh, okay. I guess that's about 60 feet, and then I'll roll perception. Yeah. It's a river. The river does, the river does. Look, guys, it's a river. <laughs> yes. A your observation. Okay. <laughs> that, was, that was really funny to me. Uh, next is Calypso. So she will also run up 30 feet. 
and say, oh my god, a river, it's beautiful. And roll perception at 11. It seems to be going actually not super fast. It's like a nice, uh, steady pace. Um, you, this would like almost be perfect for uh, little kids to go up and after if they've made like boats out of leaves and twigs, they could set it and have them go down. And this would almost be like a perfect river for that because they could easily keep up with them by like a very slow jog. Not, not a walk, but closer to a jog, if you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, I can't wait to stick my feet in the water. Are you going to stick your feet in the water? And she'll turn to Hassani. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was that? I was reading your reviews. Um... <laughs> <laughs> uh, she will, she'll ask Hassani, are, are, do you want to stick your feet in the water too? Oh no! I want to. I want to go over the robber, o- over the water, on the rocks. Oh, that sounds fun too. <laughs> oh boy! All right. Next is uh, Ravier. Oh well, damn! I'm gonna get as far as I can. Plump. I I don't know how far you want to let me go. There you go. Cause... Well, I'll let you go there. Okay. You're a little bit ahead of them because you are extra excited. So I'm giving you just a little more. Water. Guys, it's a river. <laughs> Um, oh my god, Agua! I, I generally know what I generally know what bodies of water look like. Can I you make can, my check you can with roll with advantage? It. Yes, you can. You're a water genasi. I'll let you. Wow! <laughs> it didn't matter. Hey, look, it's water. He rolled a one thousand one hundred and eleven. <laughs> wow! Amazing. Um, um, five years currently does not look like he he did when you were first. Uh, talking. He's like, he's actually got a smile and his eyebrows are up and he's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, River, same as Calypso because you literally got the same role. You see the same thing. Mm-hmm. Uh. <sighs> Rock watches Ravier walk, a- or like, like basically like run ahead and walks behind kind of, again, paranoid Dragonborn. And uh, gets behind Ravier and just kind of peers over his shoulder, which isn't hard because he's over a foot taller than him. He's seven foot two. And he also looks at the river, but he doesn't freak out. <laughs> you can roll perception if you like. You do not get advantage, though. <laughs> I see more about the river because I'm not freaking out. I'm like, oh, a river. <laughs> the river, um, is, it's not super deep, but it's deep enough... Um, how, t- how tall is everybody? 5'1". 6'2". 7'2". 5'10". 5'10"? Hussing me, it would be up to your waist. Everyone else would kind of <laughs> judge it by that. But this is it's just a very nice, calm river. You could easily walk through it. The bridge is mostly there for aesthetic purposes. Rock is going to put his uh, two fingers to his chin and kind of scratch it with one of his claws and go, that is a very, not, it is moderately deep. It's about, yeah, it's a nice river. All right. Uh, well, you don't yeah, get sure. outside much, river. do you? Uh, like I said, I prefer places dark, cold, and quiet. Rivers weren't my thing. When you are a dragonborn who casts ice, you see a body of water, you tend to freeze it. Oh. The is going to turn around and just say, don't you dare. Yes, sir. <laughs> Rock is going to turn away and give Rave your side eye. All right. Sini, go ahead. I turn to Rock. Maybe you should use the bridge. And then I will stop running and just kind of go walking movement speed and then she's holding the the kind of oil lamp that she had before and she has that out and she's kind of holding it but that's all she does all right sounds good uh calypso it's your turn uh calypso just kind of giggles a little bit at the at the two of them They're like boys 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 
don't fight everything will be fine and then she's gonna make a dash to the water and she wants to uh kick off her boots as she does and put her feet in the water <laughs> as, you, as you go to put your feet in the water the water attracts oh. the, the water actively moves away from you what oh. you you don't think water should do that Water. But the water moved away from you. Water, why are you scared? But I'm not, but I'm not doing anything yet. I'm, I'm sorry, what? Uh, guys, I scared the water. Did I spook you? I'm so sorry. I approached too fast. And she'll, like, kind of squat down and, like, gently, like, stick her hand out towards the water and just kind of hold still. And that'll be my, my whole turn. Okay. I will say, as you do that, the water kind of goes back to normal. After you've done that, uh, is it touching my feet? <laughs> yes, it, it... it's kind of, it's it's touching just the very tip of your toes. It's not going all the way up. Aww, to you yet. it's so scared. It's okay. <laughs> Ravier, water shouldn't do that by any means. Something's happening. What the hell do you mean, scared water? I Splash. scared the water. As as you as you walk in the water, the water copies your movement. And you see a splash on the other side. Like here? Yeah. Yeah. No, right right about here. You see just a doop. And it's about the exact same splash as you. Um and roll me a perception check real quick. <sighs> Can you roll with advantage because I'm also looking? Because I'm at the water and acutely aware no. that the water is weird. Right. He can't roll it because of that, but he can roll per advantage because he's a water. Genasi. I'll take it. Yeah. Um. You see over here. Sorry, let me zoom out. Yeah, blink again. Over, like, okay. right, over right over him. Yeah. There. There's a little sigil, and every time the water is doing something weird, it's kind of just giving a light glow, and then it's turning off. Hmm. Um. I'm going to hold an action, and I will not reveal what it is. Okay. That's fine by me. Uh, because this is actually kind of calm right now. Uh, next is Rock. Rock, um, actually, I don't know that you'd see what just happened, so go right ahead. You can go on up, unless someone says something. Okay. Uh, like Rock said, doesn't go outside a lot, doesn't play in rivers. There's a bridge. I'm walking toward the bridge. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, you can probably get to about here. Okay. Rock's just going to walk toward the bridge. And it, would I be able to hear what they're talking about or at least kind of see if I look over to the side when I walk toward the bridge, what's going on? Only perception real quick. And I will say, um, Ravier, mm -hmm. you will see this. Calypso also rolling perception real quick. Sure. I'm gonna, and Hathini. Um, Everyone. Rivers in the water. The song. Oh, oh, hi, Calypso. Okay. Well, Natural 20 perception. Um, Hassini, the water seems a little strange to you. Um, Rock, Ravier, and definitely Calypso. The water is cowering from him. And Ravier, because you spotted that sigil, the sigil is glowing. Cowering the water from, is from him. actively moving. From rock. There, there are two. Okay, rock, because there were two hymns. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, as rock is getting up towards it, towards the bridge, the water, it's almost like it sees him and and knows he uses ice and goes, uh oh, and starts kind of like, it's doing what it can to stay away from him, even though he's going on the bridge, not in the water. And rock, you notice that as well, but you don't notice the sigil. Uh, well, now I get what Calypso said. Can he try to talk to the water? Sure, you can try and talk to the water. He's going to kind of put his hands up slowly with like a raised eyebrow. Hmm. I don't go in rivers. It's fine. I'm just going to cross the bridge. Okay. As you do, you see um, a little sploosh of water that shouldn't have been there, just splooshed up on there. And it spells out. Uh, 
no ice. Rock nods his head. All right, as you do that, it jumps back into the river, and the river goes back to normal. Hassini, go ahead. It's your turn. Hassini. Hassini. Adrian? Sorry, I'm back. My internet refreshed. It's oh, fine. dang. No worries. Uh, <laughs> it is your turn. Uh, the water just jumped onto the bridge, spelled out no ice to rock, and jumped back in the water. So, um, Hassini was going to go running up on the bridge, but when that happens, she, like, stops and just, like, stares at where the water was. Is the uh, wood planks or anything have any sign of being wet, or did all of the water, like, disappear? All of the water left. She looks from uh, Rock and then over to the other uh, people by the river's edge, and she's going to say, Do you think there's an elemental in this river? Um, can I, can I make a sleight of hand? Four. Actually, that's an awful decision, but I still want to try to hide it. Uh, my my uh, held action. Yeah. I'm going to splash Hassini. <laughs> <laughs> really slide a hand. Since Rock is sitting next to Hassini, will I get splashed as well? Uh, yes, you guys will. Uh, the water does splash you guys. Um, <laughs> and as you're kind of drying off, you see... Um, Ravier's hand, which had just controlled it, uh, you see him kind of dancing a little bit and then putting it down. So you know it was him. Yeah. Very obvious. Hassini. It looks like there is an elemental. Hassini lets out a very sharp yelp and just kind of like is standing completely rigid and soaked and like her jaw is completely open and she's like shocked and not really sure what to do. Okay. Oh, she's funny. Uh -huh. What is Rock's reaction? Rock, usually very quiet and unresponsive, but like with like, he, he keeps a very straight face, basically. He's gonna kind of like, I assume that it just like got like, like the side of me because I'm right beside Hassini. Like it yeah. didn't get all of me, it got the side of me. Mm -hmm. I'll kind of just like, because because I am like like draconic, uh, I am an I am a ice dragon ancestry. I just kind of like rub the side of my sleeve, and I'm gonna and Rock's gonna slightly smile, but then immediately imme immediately like realize he's smiling and then look away. All right. Um. With that, you all notice the water. Um. After are you releasing shape water after that? Oh yeah, it was just a simple action. Okay. Uh, so the second it's shape water is released, the sigil glows again, and all the water collects itself into like a little ball and flies back into the river. Hassini is like shivering and still kind of has a, a gasped expression, and then she's like, "I'm all wet. I have to change." And then she's going to uh, hold up her or set her her lamp on the ground, and then she kind of turns into a cloud almost like a genie and disappears into the oil lamp and she's going to go into her genie's vessel which is number one in oil lamp and she's okay. going to go into her little pocket house and start to find another set of clothes what a okay. melodramat rock's gonna look at the lamp on the ground point at it and say should i pick it up or just leave it there Maybe I shouldn't pick up somebody's house, should I? I don't know. Shake it really hard. <laughs> <laughs> it is not Rock's turn. Um, Calypso, go ahead. Um, I guess my first question is, is the water still, like, staying away from me? Or has it kind of, like, relaxed against me now that I've been standing in uh, in the area for a while? It's accepted that you're there. It's, it's behaving like normal water again. Okay. Um... So she's going to look back at Rock and say, um, why don't you pick it up so we can continue to be on our way and we don't leave her behind. And then she's going to look over at Ravier and um, cast friends. <laughs> and, 
and and <laughs> hold out hold out her hand to him and say, "Will you help me across the river, please?" I have a question about the friend spell. Mm -hmm. Yes. When she casts it on Ravier, does that mean it's no longer cast on Rock? It's, it's been more than it would a have minute. only lasted for a yeah, minute. Yeah, it only lasts okay. for a minute. My and, bad. And it's not one of those ones that you recognize it was casted on you. It also is concentration. It totally yeah, and it's concentration. Mm -hmm. And it's not one of the ones that you recognize that it was. Uh... You know, charm person, you automatically you sure know, that? but I don't think oh, no, friends does. Oh, no, it does. You could become hostile towards me. Mm -hmm. Oh. The creature realizes you use magic to influence its mood. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Rock, you know that she did that to you. Calypso? Rock kind of raises his voice slightly. I don't think I like you very much. No, you liked me before. Funny how magic works, it does, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's okay. You'll like me later, too. Rock kind of crosses his arms and looks at the lamp and looks at Ravier back the lamp. All right. Uh, Ravier, it is your turn. Did Calypso actually do anything with the friends? Honestly, Calypso I just asked you. Honestly, I would like to retract or doing that. Or just cast that. it. I, honestly, okay. I would like to retract doing that if I can, because I honestly thought it was one of the ones that you didn't know. I was mistaking it for a charm person. Okay. Right. Then yeah, you may. So yeah. I'm fine with that. Uh, she will, as the water is settling, just uh, skip across the water. Okay. Uh, that'll be your turn. Yep. Um, yeah, Ravier, what are you doing? Like a normal person does to a fluffy dog, Ravier is going to get down and be like, Oh, who's a good little river? Oh, you're so cool. I haven't seen you in, in so long in, in ever. The I water. At, at the, the sentient water. <laughs> the water kind of forms into the shape of a dog <laughs> and it starts playing with you it, it looks very excited oh like what hell yeah <laughs> you you made a friend <laughs> add um, water add water friend to your <laughs> to your list of friends no you, add, don't, you don't get a water friend <laughs> add river to your list of friends <laughs> yes add a river i um, need a friends list oh i suppose i do now <laughs> i will say the sigil glows again, um, but then uh, after you play with the dog a little bit, the dog kind of just sits down, looks at you, and raises a watery paw. It turns into a hand, and it waves goodbye to you, and it dissipates, and you see the sigil just slowly dissipates as well. Oh, no. Uh, I'd like to use as much of my movement as I can to get as close to the sigil as possible. Okay. Uh, roll me investigation real quick. Because uh, you can probably get right up to it. And you can see... Ooh, as yeah, sure. Investigation. No, 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 it's fine. <laughs> I'll give you advantage because you you did know... So there. invested. <laughs> Very so invested. Go ahead and roll. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, not geez. that much. You are five invested. Uh, the DC wasn't even that high. I'm sorry, bud. Um, hey, this is what should have happened. Yeah. The sigil just kind of just left. Um, from as you can tell, I don't know. So something may have dispelled it, and the sigil went away. Um, nothing. It was there. Um, the sigil just went away. Maybe it was temporary. You don't really know. He falls to his knees, in like way too dramatically, and just like. Leans his head down in defeat. I feel bad now. <laughs> <laughs> um, everybody, um, roll me perception real quick. I feel like I should opt out of that because I'm not in all of it there. Sini <laughs> will not roll perception. Everyone else do. Where's the murder? <laughs> <laughs> Ravier, up ahead you see a little gnome sitting on a stump. And that, that is I'm John Wick. 
that is in the next map. So it's up to this way. <laughs> Did you just say you're John Wick? <laughs> Someone killed his dog. <laughs> oh my god. Oh wow. <laughs> That's bad. Oh boy. All right. Okay, sorry. Um, continue. It's fine. No. Um, you. Okay with everybody. Um, because I'll peek behind the curtain again. There's not really much else here. Uh, especially with Raver's perception, you can tell there's nothing else really going on here. Uh, but you do see that little gnome kind of just sitting up on the stump watching you guys. Uh, so if everyone is okay with it, we can start heading that way. And we can say during that time, Adrian, your character definitely could have found an yeah. outfit. She does. She did the search through her wardrobe, but then she changed into another similar outfit, but a little less fancy and more common. Okay. Uh, is everyone okay with just advancing to the next map? Yeah. Yeah. I will say that, uh, okay, so is Hassini out, or can I pick up the lamp and, like, try to gingerly carry it? I feel like she'd take a couple minutes, because she's a girl, but okay. no offense. Oh, hey. Um, <laughs> no, but, I... <laughs> well, it's about here. but you'd be able to carry the lamp or yeah. leave it, whichever you preferred, and then she'd Rock... pop out in a minute. Rock kind of picks up the lamp with, like, gently scoops it up with both hands and whispers, let me know if I'm too rough. And then, like, slowly walks with it as if he's, like, carrying, like, a very delicate, like, glass bowl or something, just, yeah. like... Yeah, like, there's oh. actually a voice that comes out from it, and she says, Whoa! Thank oh. you! No, you're fine! Thank uh, you! I'll be right out! Rock's gonna, Rock's gonna, gonna hold it, like, arm's length away from himself and just keep walking, like, okay. <laughs> just like, okay, this is happening. All right. <laughs> oh, I love this. All right, uh, you all go to this, and you see a little gnome just sitting there. Hey guys, how you, how you doing? God, I love this voice. Uh, how how are all you? It's great. It's uh, great to see you. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. What what's going on here? So is anyone is anyone going to introduce themselves? Or you want me to do it first? I can do uh, it first. Why by me? Um, I'm Rock. These are people. My I'm name Hasini. is Ravier Gavitter. Did you take away my water dog? Oh, sorry about that. Hold on, hold on. Here. Uh. And he um Oops. grabs a sigil out of his bag, and takes his finger and touches it. And you see that same symbol go on it, and he tosses it to you. Uh, and you can catch it. Uh, he goes, That's a... uh, Can I catch it? Can you catch it? I don't see. Yeah, I'll let you catch it. Can Rock roll to catch it? <laughs> oh, jeez. Can Rock roll to catch it? Rock can roll to catch it. Just flat dexterity or something specific? Just dex. Uh, now that you catch it, it just kind of... Hmm? Can I mage hand catch it? Uh, oh, it breaks God. through the mage hand. It's heavier than 10 pounds? <laughs> yes. Holy sh... That's a, he that's a heavy coin. I it's not Ravier a coin. Gonna it looks like a little pick... rune. Ravier's you probably shouldn't throw it from up. so far away. <laughs> just say, next time throw it better. Oh, uh... Obviously, it's, it's, the, it's their fault. Oh, Rock, Rock, Rock um, looks at Ravier and just kind of puts on like a very embarrassed smile. Because he was going to go to pick it up, but if he did, they would have bumped heads, and that wouldn't have been very nice. By the way, you could see when he was trying to catch it, he was fumbling and bumbling and oh god it looked awful <laughs> yeah no the li little guy did notice that he goes oh uh by the way i'm timothy good to see you fellas uh rock will bow his head hello so, mr timothy of the forest <laughs> that's a what? very uh strong title for me I'm just a, i'm just a rock gnome i just i love the forest Hello, Can Mr. Timothy the Rock. No. 
Oh. I'm sorry, uh, Miss. You can Jean? call me Hassini. Hassini. Oh, I'm not a, a genie. I'm a air ganassi. Oh, I saw you go in the lamp earlier. That's why I was a little confused. Sorry. Oh no, I I I have a genie too. Cool. Well, we need to talk more. You're very sweet. Uh yeah. So you guys seem very fond of my dog. Uh by the way, uh the rune, what that does is it just makes the water like a pet. It can't uh it can't attack or anything. But you know, it's a nice little just cool thing. And you can make your water dog again. And that that one will last longer. The other one was just a temporary one. Rock crosses his arms and makes it like a very like a very like quiet to the side comment. Very fitting for a water genasi. Can I? Water, can I step over and try to also see the rune with Revere? Yeah, you can look at the rune. Uh, and it was that same symbol that was on the other map. Um, and yeah, it's nothing like super special. Um, it legitimately just will, you can put it near a body of water and the body of water becomes like a little dog. It becomes very playful. Yeah, timid. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. It's basically a create water or control water. Sorry. It's basically control water. Just a little bit souped up. That's all. More specific. I look over for, to um, Ravier and, and I presume that he's taking the rune. And what, what's the rune on? Is it just like a, a stone? or? It's on what looks to be a stone, but you don't think that that's a normal stone. Um, definitely because it broke through that mage hand. Um, mm -hmm. You can tell this is like a reinforced stone. Um, as you pick it up, it's probably about 15, 20 pounds. It's a heavy stone. Yeah. Hassini doesn't try to pick it up or anything. She just kind of watches Ravier right doing it, standing kind of just across from him. Um, she can tell that it's something that he has, uh, he has uh, taken. It's his. All right. Um, little guy kind of just hops off his stump. So, uh, can I ask you why you're here? Oh, well, Mr. Timothy, we were investigating the forest as there was a lack of emotions around him activity after that weird worm incident that we've heard stories about. Oh, you heard about those fucking cultists. Man, I hated those guys. Uh, here, I can show you where the animals are. And he kind of raises up a hand. And you see um, two uh, little, not swarms, but there's about probably 10 squirrels in each one of these. And you kind of just see them run over. Can, they can I, maybe... like, incite him? Yes, you may. I want to see if, um, like, when he talks says stuff about the cultists, I want to kind of see if I can read into that at all. Okay, go ahead. Can Rockwell inside as well? Yes. Ravier would have to be paying attention first. I would <laughs> like to roll insight also. Actually, can I give Hassini advantage by just talking about what I remember from the cultists? Oh, the cultists of, what was it called? Were you there for the cult? No. Game? Okay. Can I roll his, a history check instead? What was Rock part of that he, game? He was not part of that game. Cal was. Then, then no, you cannot. Okay. Well, is there anything I can roll to see what I recall from anything? Like you can do, like I, uh, like everyone else is doing insight. Okay, I'll just do insight. I feel like stuff with perception and insight and kind of individual type skills. I, I don't feel like you can assist with very well yeah but i don't know that's that's kind of just me maybe but. yeah that that's my thought process as well um so we got 10 12 and 13 um rock and calypso um 
you're kind of thinking on it. Um, this guy definitely doesn't like the cultists. Um, and you kind of remember hearing something about um, uh, something about meeting some weird guy in a robe. You know, you're not really sure. Don't remember much of anything. It's like, yeah, there's some cultists out here. They fought a, they praised a worm. It was weird. It's about all you get. Hassini, apparently there were some cultists out here. You haven't heard about this yet. Well, look at the animals, though. They're so cute. Oh. A couple, um, a bunch of squirrels kind of get up to you. Um, I, I go, try to shoot them away. Oh, 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 oh. They, they seem almost annoyed at this. And he goes, well, are you going to, you don't mind my little squirrel friends, do you? Oh, they're fine. I just, just don't want them to like, touch me. Oh, okay. Uh, Rock, can Rock kind of like kneel down and just pensively like a, like a, do like a come your motion to the squirrels? You may. Roll me animal handling. That's not going to happen. No, nope, they don't, they don't come near you. Either way, I would try to like sidestep Rock and kind of go back to Calypso because he's trying to get them to come over. He, uh, he kind of walks over to you guys. So, uh, may I ask why you guys are here? Or, oh. I heard, I know you guys are here because you're checking out the disturbance. Uh, are you here to do anything else? I mean, I can tell you why. It's just the animals after that weren't very happy and they came over to see me. Is there any reason why the animals all flock to you specifically, Mr. Timothy? Well, I'm a druid. I guess that might be why. Rock is like kneeling down. How tall is the gnome? He's about two foot seven. Okay, so Rock kneeling down is still super freaking tall. I just wanted to know if I could like, if I was even anywhere near eye level. No, I'm still towering over this poor gnome. Uh, yeah. Rock he, he, his head is straight up. Yeah. Like, or all the way back. He's looking straight up. Okay. Rock nods his head. Well, that makes sense. Druid, nature, forest, animals. Um, yeah. Has anything else gone awry? I do want to mention, on the walk over here, he pulls out the gold coin from earlier. There were plenty of rabbit holes full of coins. Can you oh. help me make sense of that? Oh. So that, oh, hey, were you chewing on my coin purse earlier? He's looking at one of the squirrels. <laughs> the squirrel just kind of shrugs, no. and he looks at his coin purse and goes, oh, I guess when I was looking in there for him, they, something must have chewed my coin purse. And he kind of just pulls it out, and there's a hole, and like two more gold coins fall out. Oh, shoot. He picks them up. Rock um, will take the coin and just, you know... Like, 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 um, off, like, extend his arm, which is probably in the gnome's face, and just like hand it back to him. Oh, no, you can keep it. I have no real use for money. No, no. Your squirrel sure? chewed up your coin purse. I'm very sure. Okay. He'll, he'll grab the, he'll take the coin slowly, and he'll put it, he'll put it in the coin purse as he's, uh, he's got some extra cloth with him, and he's kind of just, met, he's fixing it up. He mends it. So Rock asks the Rock asks Timothy, so well we came here to investigate the situation. Are you just telling me that the animals are just hiding with you? Are they allowed to go to the forest? Is the worm situation that bad that they can't go to toward that area? Hold on, the worm's dead. Uh they can go there if they want. I just was having them here. So they uh they all got really scared. Especially Especially the wolves. Oh, those poor pups. Where are the rest of the animals? Only the squirrels are with you. No, I don't know where... Th well, the rabbits are starting to go home, but they're heading more north. They wanted to go and just kind of look around before they do. They'll probably... They said they'll be back within a few days. I see. Mr. Timothy, is there anything you need help with here in the forest before we leave? Because if I'm not mistaken, and someone, he kind of like turns over his, his shoulder toward the rest of the party. Please correct me, but it seems that nothing's really amiss here. Please tell me if I'm wrong. Oh yeah, nothing's amiss. I mean, 
Yeah, no, I saw you guys. I was afraid you guys weren't going to attack me. Oh, no. There's a reason to attack. If I can help it, I would prefer to avoid combat at all costs. Okay. Oh, hello, lovely lady. How are you? Hi. Rock's going to stand up and move toward Ravier. <clears throat> She'll squat down next to the gnome and just go, you know, I'm I'm curious. Uh, are there any doves around here? Oh, no, we haven't had doves in this part of the forest in centuries. Oh, that's a bummer. Yeah, my great-grandpappy was telling me about it. That was before he died. Oh. He got eaten. Oh, probably not by a dove, though. No, it was one of, it was, uh, I don't know. Did you hear about those demon bears? No. Oh, they were nasty. Yeah, no, like, uh, not that long ago, there were some demon bears around here. He got eaten. Oh, man, that sounds awful. I'm, I'm so sorry. Are there still demon bears around here? Maybe that's what we're supposed to find. Oh, no, there's no more of them. Uh, a group of adventurers came and killed them. It was awesome. Oh, you should have seen them. I could only watch from afar, because they really won they attacked one of the nearby towns. And I'm not allowed there anymore. Oh. I'm sorry about that. Hmm. Well, I'd like to do one more insight check on him, because I'm so close. Okay, you can. Natural twenty. Uh hmm. How do I want to explain this? The animals are doing, are kind of chilling with him willingly, um, but you sense a tension in the animals. Hmm. Or at least in, in the two little posses of squirrels. This, um, and you sense that it's kind of... The tension isn't towards him, it's towards you guys. Uh, also, everybody... Rock kind of just poofed. Not really sure where he went, but he went somewhere. What kind of poof? It's like a cloud of smoke or turned invisible almost? Or No, it's, a... it's more like he actually went and hid. Mm, gotcha. Oh. He was there one oh. second. <laughs> he kind of just left. Uh-huh. You know, I'm I'm curious. The uh the animals seem skittish of us. It, are there people that have been mistreating the animals which have caused them to be so wary of travelers? Well, I got yeah, we aren't dangerous, Ravier says he stomps forward in his big armor. <laughs> Go! Uh, Alright, listen here, pal. Just take it easy. No, no, no. Listen. He's a bad example, sorry. Bad? Right. What do you mean a bad example? I'm so light on my feet. See, look. Shh. Clonk, clonk, <laughs> clonk, clonk. Um, roll me dexterity. Can he roll with disadvantage because she would try to trip him just to get him to stop moving? Actually, it's probably disadvantage anyway just because Isn't I have that... chain mail or whatever. Does a 14 hit you? No. The, the squirrels just tried to eat, tried to bite you. I feel like this has uh, happened see, to Rivier in some form or another before. <laughs> <laughs> different, different, different kind of rodent. And uh, if you bring out some more squirrels, I get a 10 DR squirrel shield. <laughs> what? God. What are you No, we're not doing that. You, you there. Jeffrey, Jimmy, Tommy, and Tipsy. Get over here. No, and no, no. He, uh, we're not here he to fight. He casts speak with animals. He goes, get over here. <laughs> they they're they look like they're hiding behind him. Listen, we don't get outsiders here much, especially in this part of the forest. This is gnomish territory. And unfortunately that the gnomes are gone. So yeah. It's really only us now. So what's what's happening with the gnomes then? Why did they all leave? Eaten. Eaten. By those demon bears. Hmm. Where are the demon bears? 
Like, uh, they're very dead. Do you remember, uh, I told you, the adventurers came and took care of them. Yeah, but it just doesn't, what doesn't make sense is why the animals won't be in the further part, in the closer part of the forest towards, towards the villages. Are they that those scared? Well, there was those cultists as well. Those yeah. cultists started to eat them. Well, now you don't have the cultists and you don't have the demon bears. Like, can you encourage them to maybe visit the, visit the town a little more? The people really miss seeing the animals. I've been trying to. The poor guys are scared shitless, as you say. You know. Can I can I ask you a direct question, Mister Timothy? Ah, you can ask whatever you want. Why why are all the animals wanting to pull up here? Is it just because they're afraid of something that's been killed? Or is there something else out there that, that maybe we need to go find? Or or do you know anything about what's going on? Is it seems like that's a very expired reason for them to be hiding? They uh they really just don't like people. I mean that that giant worm was only killed a few days ago. It's only been Maybe a week, maybe two. It has not been that long. The animals are still getting themselves back to normal. It takes them time. Especially with cultists. I'd like to walk kind of past around to the stump and examine it. Okay. Um, as you get over there, Timothy goes, Hey, hey, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm just looking. Okay, just no touch. Look, no touch. You look at him curiously. He looks very avid about you not uh, touching that. Okay, also, I just, I just wanted to see what you said. Uh, no. Or you can. Sorry. I was thinking about something else. I'm sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. So should I roll instead of investigation? Should I roll perception then since I'm not like getting really close or? Uh, you can still roll investigation if you'd like. Okay. <laughs> I'm very, very distracted and I feel his gaze on me yeah. and I don't do anything. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it's a stump. Uh, he was death staring you that entire time, though. Yeah, I eventually just get too intimidated and back away a little bit. All right. He goes, please don't, don't touch stump. It's personal. Very, very precious to me. Hmm. Does, it, does anyone speak with animals? I look over at my crew. They are still the team. Calypso, Calypso shakes, her, shakes her head. I mean, do you guys want to speak with them? Hold on. And he'll, he'll grab another rune out of his bag. Um, and he holds out his hand and starts drawing another thing on it. And he just sets it down, taps it twice, um, and the rune kind of sets off, and you hear the squirrels. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get, 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 get away, get away, get away, we don't like you, get away, get away, get away, get away, get out, get, 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 get out, get out, get away, we don't like you, get away, you freaking cultist, get away. I'm not a cultist, we, oh my god. We, we are, we are not cultists, those were just, aww, uh -huh. <laughs> the squirrel. You don't like you. No, get away. No, no, no. Let... Be gone. The cultists, no. the cultists are, the cultists are all gone. That's what the cultists would say. Uh, would a cultist do something nice, like give you berries? Berries? Berries. And she will reach in and she will pull out one of the quarts of the blackberries that she had collected earlier. Remember these? <gasps> berries, berries. Yes. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah. Just wait. I'm gonna take some out. So I'll take like a handful, and I'll put like one pile um, in front of this guy, and one pile in front of this guy, and say, you know, there are so many trees closer to the village that are just covered in berries, and obviously, I can't be a cultist, or else a I wouldn't have berries because berries don't go to bad people, and b. <laughs> <laughs> I love and, this guy's logic on this. And B, I would not give away the berries if I was a bad person. And everybody 
at the human settlement have not taken the berries because they know that they're yours. Therefore, they cannot be cultists. Can I roll a persuasion on the squirrels? <laughs> you can roll a persuasion with it, man. I don't know. They looked more like bushes to me. I was not yeah. expecting you guys to start yeah. talking with the squirrels, but this is happening. 16. Um, 16, Eagle. Eh. Yeah, worst case scenario, we can come back here. Right, Timothy? Oh, of course. Okay. Brothers! And you see uh, two more uh, little flocks of squirrels. <laughs> flocks. Uh, t that's not a squirrel. <laughs> that's a squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> Shh. Don't worry, you saw nothing. Uh, they're okay, all on. They're all on our screen. Yeah, they're definitely not on the token layer. What? All the squirrels go. Okay, we go back. We go back. But more berries, please. Oh yes, of course. And she we, will. We want berries. She will turn the the one of the two quarts that she has. She will turn it upside down and just shake out all the berries onto the ground. All the squirrels kind of just gather around it, and they're just going nuts eating it. <laughs> but I'm. But I'm chi. <laughs> they're they're just going crazy. The squirrels. Okay, you have a good day. You have a good day okay. now. Take all your friends. And we're going. <laughs> and she'll put the, the empty court away. And okay. be like, okay, I got the squirrels back. Somebody else work on a different animal. Hey, Timothy. Oh, hey, George. Good to see you again. And he kind of runs back and gets on his stump. How you doing, man? I'm doing good. Uh, what the hell are these cultists doing here? They're not cultists. Jeez, what did I ever tell you? Not, not everybody cultists. Not everybody is a cultist. My I'm accent not a changed. Cultist. Like, my I wouldn't accent follow changed. anyone else. <laughs> George looks right at you and goes, You're a paladin. You follow somebody. Yeah, I can smell it on y you. Yeah. Myself. Mm hmm. <laughs> Sure. Oh, boy. Listen, outsider. Are the cultists still there? I think the cultists were killed. That's what Timothy said. Yeah, well, to, we believe Timothy, but we also want a second opinion. Uh... Last time he said that, we lost Frank. Because, well, he legitimately did think they were gone, but they weren't, so... We don't want to lose Louie. And do you know where Frank went so that we can check it out for ourselves? Over a fire. You got eight. Those cultists were hungry. They ate him. Has seen any grimaces in the back? The wolf kind of goes. Listen, if you're gonna say, if you're gonna tell us, let me get the rest of my posse. And he howls. Um. And you see, uh, three more wolves. Um, not the three you already see, but these two. And this one all kind of show them, kind of walk out of the woods. <sighs> are they gone? You hear him just, are the cultists really gone? Are they really gone? It's wonderful. Please tell us they're actually gone. We ain't even bored here. Well, what do you talk? What do you mean, you're bored? Boring here with you. Ugh. Dick. Well, a lot of wolves. <laughs> and they they are all just being aware. They're they don't look all that scary actually. Hmm. From Is what we've been told, it should be clear. We're just wondering why you got you all haven't returned to the rest of the forest. So uh and he just makes an awkward gesture behind him. Yeah. All right. 
We'll see you again tomorrow. Oh, okay. Goodbye, fellas. Bye. And they all just kind of start leaving. They all leave. Are they heading back to to yeah. like, fill out the other part of the woods? Yeah, they all kind of just walked past you. Um, and they started walking away. Is anybody going to try and do anything to them? Nope. Um, no, not if they're going back to the forest. Yeah, they're all going back. Timothy just kind of walks up and goes, Wow, you guys can convince them very well. Huh. Hmm. Uh, you know, I was worried I was going to have to fight you guys. Uh, why would you need I mean, to fight if us? You, if you want to, we still can. Uh, <laughs> you trust me, bud. You don't want to fight me. George and the others still owe me a favor. If you fought me, they wouldn't, they'd probably help us. I think that a good, um, I think that this was a good situation. I think they need to see that, you know, the, the humans or Genasis or Dragonborns or Azmirs, Azmirs are just, they don't mean any harm. So... <laughs> I think oh, once they saw that and learned that, you know, we're not all cultists like you have been preaching. Um, um excuse me, do not put words in mouth. I have not been preaching that. No, I've been preaching that that people are not cultists. That's what you've been preaching. Mm hmm. I don't like you very much. What what do you have to say, Water as a Water Genasi? Not as a mere. Sorry. But I know what, what, do, what do I oh, say? Oh, do you do you agree that the cultists are actually gone? We haven't seen them, but I've been worried as well. I mean, we can go look. Where's their hideout? Well, they didn't really have a hideout. They just kind of hung around that worm. But if you've even heard that they're gone, especially... Uh, where are you guys from? Are you from the guild? Yeah, that, uh, sad sack of... Yeah, we're from there. Uh, you don't have a lot of promise in it. Ah. <laughs> Anyhow. Well, if you guys are from there, then you know what? I trust your word. Uh, all right. Well, if that's the case, uh, I guess I'm just going to stay on my stump. What's uh, so special about your stump? Oh, well, watch this. And he hops well, on it. I want to go look at it again. <laughs> he hops on it and he goes, all right, watch this. And he just kind of closes his eyes. And as the Genasis do, um, you see most of his body turns to stone. And he, and it looks like he's a little statue. But you, you hear um, in your minds almost as if it's message. But it's not. It's kind of a weird form of it. You hear, this is where I stay. I I guard this forest, and I guard the animals. So, this is a shrine of much power. If anyone else were to touch it, it would not like them, and it would probably kill them almost instantly. Is that what the cultists tried to do? The I would cultists. say that out loud. Um, Rock, you can. Sorry. Um, and he goes, The cultists were trying to summon the giant worm, which I think they did, but it got killed. Um, who are you messaging? Ravier. Alright. Uh, so he just kind of looks at you all and goes, So... Yeah, just, it's been good to see you all. I haven't seen good people here in many years. That's why all the animals were on very liking you. As far as they knew, they were more cultists still. Yeah, uh, first of all, where did you go? Well, we really appreciate that you were speaking positively about the people in the surrounding cities to try to ease the tension between the animal folk and the human population. That means a lot. Thank you. Well, of course. Hey, Safety. Uh, sure. 
all of you, uh, including you, uh, Mr. Rock, I, I've, I've been watching you. Sorry, but I kind of, I see uh, through the trees. I can still see you. Well, what... <laughs> Oh. And, and yes, he's been watching you that entire time, Rock. It's no offense to you, Timothy. I just prefer to watch my distance. It's fine. We'll come here. Gather around. So brave. <laughs> Calypso mutters to herself. Rock's going to ignore Calypso and just stay here, baby! <laughs> um, as you all kind of gather around, he goes, All of you, for your bravery, coming here, and your honor, this is my gift to you. Go ahead. Hold out, hold out one hand, all of you. Calypso will hold out her left hand. Rock holds out his right. His left is it on his bag. Hassini would put out her right hand slowly. Uh, Ryber is kind of hoping that it might get a little some more, so he holds up both hands. <laughs> <laughs> um, everybody, ten platinum pieces up here. No. As, as her well. Eyes widen. Uh, and he kind and um, our water is your nasty friend. He goes, you know, I kind of like you. You're pretty cool. Come visit me sometime. We'll talk more. And you have your water dog. His, I his do name... have my water dog. Yes. His name is Scruffles. He's a good boy. Uh, Scruffles. That uh, rune. You can summon Scruffles whenever you wish. He can't really attack, but he's he's got about 10 health. He's a nice little boy. Like I said, he can't really attack, but he's a good boy. And if anything ever happens to him, he'll always return to that room. He's a wonderful boy. Good as uh, the doggos. <laughs> is that throne a little heavy for you? I can lighten it, if you like. No, no, it's, it's fine. It, it holds the weight of... A strong bond. Sounds good. Now I love you. You must be going. I have much thinking to do. And the you see uh, the statue's quarterstaff kind of just raises uh, and a little light shines. And you're back. To the guild. To the guild hall here in Doria. Um, just south of the main quickly check in my pack to make sure that the rune is still there. Rune is Has, still there. Athena is doing the same thing, but for her coin purse. Yeah. <sighs> She's everything is, her money, too. <laughs> everything is still there. Um, the runes, the platinum. You all got ten platinum, and our water genasty friend got a, another friend. Holy smokes, we got so much gold for just going in the forest! Wow. Technic guess... Technically, we received platinum pieces, which are each which are worth a certain amount of gold. We didn't actually receive gold coins. Well, That's except true. for those of you that kept the gold coins you found in rabbit holes. You should go shopping with me. Well, it was mine. I found it. Well, it fell out of his coin purse, and it seemed polite to return the money. Yeah, well, pay attention to whether your coin purse is busted or not. I think it'd be very hard if he's in charge of keeping his eye on squirrels and wolves and things of the like. Wait. Then maybe he isn't fit for the job. Calypso, will you go shopping with me? <laughs> Wait, you guys found money? <laughs> you say that about a druid who just gave us money? Who takes care of a forest? I watched everything happen. Don't yes. speak of a, a man of that caliber that way. Hassani, let's go shopping. All right. Um, yeah, and that's where we'll end it. Yay! Yay! <laughs> so if you guys were to have um, attacked any of those animals or attacked that druid, um, that's when the actual encounter would have started. But you guys kept everything very calm, even when the animals started getting defensive. Um, the bear, You used the berries perfectly. That was really good. Very proud. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, you guys did everything like... <laughs> you... I, I actually had a list for once, and you guys did everything exact, and I've... <laughs> that never happened, so... Woo. Huzzah! <laughs> Internet high five, everybody! Whatcha? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody, uh, say goodbye to you. Uh, if we're wrapping up, let's say goodbye to YouTube. Goodbye, YouTube. Bye. Bye, Bye YouTube. Man. Happy dungeon goodbye. delving, everyone. Bye. I'm, I'm going to go back to my study, my dark and quiet study. Oh, I'll come with you. Please. No, no. we're going shopping. Oh, yeah. Let's I get said, earrings and bracelets. I said and nothing clothing. about shopping. I'm going yeah. to my study. That's fine. We're going to go shopping. Bye.